shave and put a wig on. Mm. Okay, our second film we lax going to do it's Hope Springs. Hope Springs, Meryl Streep, Tommy Lee Jones, and Steve Carell. Okay, Kay and Arnold <laughs> are, <She's> tired <laughs> already. <laughs> are a devoted couple, but decades of marriage have left Kay wanting to spice things up and reconnect with her husband. When she hears a renowned couple specialist in a small town of Great Hope Springs, mm -hmm. She attempts to persuade her skeptical husband, a steady fast man of routine, to get on a plane for a week of marriage therapy. <sighs> Just convincing the stubborn Arnold to go on the retreat is hard enough. The real challenge for both of them comes as they shed their bedroom hang-ups and try to reignite the sparks that caused them to fall for each other in the first place. <sighs> PG-13 for mature, thematic content, and bombing. Sexuality. Wow. Geriatric. Geriatric. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not sure if uh, you know we want to see these two rolling in the hay. <laughs> it's going to be high def in the theater. Oh, <laughs> that's even worse. What is going on? Tommy Lee Jones. Oh no! Oh. No! No! Thank God she just took a bite out of it. I wasn't sure where they were going with that one. <laughs> <laughs> looks like they're trying to spice up their uh, sex life, Dave. It sure looks like it, but not at my expense. <laughs> it looks like there's oh, boy. threesomes and open marriages being discussed and busty bartenders. Yeah, I was going to say that. Oh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, look, ooh, look at those. Ooh, look at those. Wow, it looks like her arms could be flapping in the wind. <laughs> Well, well it's nice to see older Americans, Dave, and their sexual problems. <laughs> it's nice. I will grant it. It's nice to see older Americans, preferably in Walmart, but not in my films. Of... Yeah. Oh. Wait a minute, Ed. Uh, I'm an older American. <laughs> You're almost in the bracket. Tommy Lee Jones just yeah, checking know. off on his forms now. Uh, all I know is I'm getting my AARP <laughs> crap in the mail, oh, and I'm not happy about it. Oh, geez. Three's the limit. Oh, well, you need something for the adults to go see in the summer. Well, they had, you know, Matlock and uh, <laughs> oh my God. some not, of that Angela Lansbury. Not uh, anymore. I know, but that's what they were. <laughs> As we discovered what a few did, weeks what did, ago. Dan. What did Angela Lansbury do? What was her thing? The murder she wrote. Yeah. There you go. That, you watch those on reruns on TV land. That's what you do. And, you know, I was watching Mr. Ed the other day. Really? Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I was wondering when I saw the Andy Griffith and I was putting up some of the clips if Lelac remembers a lot of the 60s shows or has ever heard of the Andy Griffith show. The Andy Griffin? Yeah. Yeah, no. I've heard of Andy Griffith. 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 Yeah. Pretend you have a lift. Griffith? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Andy Griffith show? Yes. Have you ever seen any of those? Uh, maybe in like those, like the commercials to go buy it. Uh -huh. Well, then you haven't seen them. Then that's, no. So yeah, I think every person should see that show, at, uh, least, yeah. at least an episode Dick or two. Dick, that, Dick, Dick Van Dyke, right. Yeah. Those are the classics, and you got, you saw, I don't care who you are, you got, you're required as part of living to see an episode or two of Dick Van Dyke and the Andy Griffith show, the original. I'm down. I'm done with that. And which I think one, I can handle it. Which one's the best one? Aunt B bakes her pie? Is that one of the best ones? <laughs> There wasn't there a famous Aunt B pie episode? We need Whoa! No, no, no. That one was made by Vivid Video. Um, <laughs> that is the one where Opie, Opie, Opie kills the bird like I'm going to kill this damn insect that's flying around it. here. Uh, weeks! Weeks this thing has been flying around down here. I'm like Regis Philbin. We need cat's eye. Uh, <laughs> to come down. Don't get rid of your pests. Pause? Why, why are we pausing? I hope we don't need that backup uh, tape this week. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so cat's eye, we need you. Do they do uh, pesty flies? Dick Van Dyke and uh, mm. Andy Griffith. People should take a look at that. I agree. Still funny today. Universal comedy. Yes. Right, Dave? Yeah. Andy Griffith wasn't like gut busting laughter, but it was good, good down home country humor yeah. with Otis the Drunk and Floyd the Bar Floyd, Floyd the Barber. I just read that Floyd the Barber was kind of crippled. That's why he was right. always uh, sitting. Yeah, Is I, think, that I think later on in the series that's happened. He, he, so that's why he was sitting down that's frequently. The only barber that cut hair from a seat. 
<laughs> well, I think he, he cut hair in the first few years. Then uh -huh. after that, he just, he just, he, 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 you know, Andy, I got wisdom to, to tell you. And that's what he would do from his, from his chair. He would just be sitting out front, mm -hmm. and they would just be. See, Andy would not. He wouldn't get rid of your people. Oh, you had a stroke, get him off the show. No. <laughs> He'd find ways to keep him on the show. Yeah. And that's what he did. Except for that one actor who replaced Don Knotts. He was gone in three weeks. <laughs> Wasn't that Burns? Jack Burns? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we don't need a uh, deputy anymore. Right. Huh? What? Huh? What? 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 Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah it lasted one season uh, or maybe eight episodes or something. Then without explanation, <laughs> right. he's not there. Right. Didn't work out with yeah. him. Okay, we got one more film we got to do. Oh, quick. let's do the film. The Born Legacy. That bright blue background. With <laughs> Jeremy Renner. Renner. Rachel Weiss. Ed Edward Norton. Albert Finney. Ooh. Joan Allen. Scott Glenn. And Stacey Keach. The narrative architect behind the Born film series, Tony Gilroy, takes the helm in the next chapter of the hugely popular espionage franchise that has earned almost $1 billion at the Gulf. Gl Global box office, The Born Legacy. Let me slow down and savor each word. <laughs> the writer-director expands the Born universe created by Robert Ludlum with an original story that introduces us to a new hero whose life or death stakes have been triggered by the events of the first three films. Rated PG-13 for violence and action sequences. Yeah, we should say. Yeah. When you take a franchise and you take out the main, the, the actor who's been playing, you know, the main character. Right. There could be some drop off or some ramifications. People don't accept it. Right. But I will say this Jeremy Renner and Edward Norton, two very, very good actors. Right. So I don't think there'll be a problem with this. I think Edward Norton has been in the series before. I love that. The same Edward Norton didn't stay on as David Banner or Bruce Banner right. in the Avengers. Hmm. There's Rachel Weiss. Did you ever get to see the Avengers? Anybody down here? No. No. Huh. Still made six hundred and ten million somehow. Without us. Without you. <laughs> oh. I'm just waiting for the uh, Three Stooges on DVD. Well, it's either this week oh, no, or we did right. it a couple of weeks ago, okay. Dave. This is exciting. Well, maybe I'll get it on demand. <laughs> on demand, we'll see that. I'm trying to think if we should, well, this probably got a few more seconds. I might want to watch this. I think she's so pretty. Rachel Weiss. Mm -hmm. Of course, Jeremy Renner was the uh, Hawkeye in the Avengers. How do we say her last name? Is it Weiss or is it Vice? Is I it, say Weiss. I say Vice. <laughs> you say tomato. I do. I say That's tomato. The there we go. Well, I wonder why they went this route. I guess uh, he didn't. Matt Damon didn't want to do another one. Or is he home with his children now? Well, maybe he's at his zoo that he bought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did the zoo movie, but he couldn't do the, another born movie. Shame on you! <laughs> 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 Putting us through a, a non-sequel like this. Okay. DVD releases. Mm, one of my favorite parts. Dr. Seuss, the Lorax. Is that Danny DeVito as the Lorax? Yes. It kind of looks like him. This made a ton of dough. It was a, I, I saw a uh, animated, I don't think it was, a, I think it was like a half hour, as Dr. Seuss would want to do, uh, which was pretty good. You mean the original the original, yeah. the 70s yeah. or so, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. My kids enjoyed it. Quite frankly, so did I. <laughs> Grim. This was one of the two uh, fairy tale shows from this season, and this was the uh, darker one. Was it good? And they're both renewed, I believe. <laughs> the producer's making some sort of face he doesn't like it, or was, so I was wondering. Like, I don't know. If it was <laughs> got good. stomach issues over there. <laughs> I don't know which it was. It's yeah, the... you didn't like it. I thought you would like this. No. I watched it, but I didn't like it. <laughs> you watched he it. watched it, but he didn't like it.